en Pai Matoraces. Definition it is the presence of pus or microorganisms in the pleural fluid. Microorganisms may be seen on a smear examination or on culture. In the absence of microorganisms, the pH of pleural fluid is less than 7, LDH is more than uh, 1000, glucose is less than 40 mg, and lactate is more than 5 millimoles or 45 mg. The co common organisms are Staphylococcus aureus, Staphylococcus pneumoniae, Staphylococcus pyogenes. Pneumococcal pneumonia also presents uh, with the effusion in 40% of the patients. Impyma occurs in only 5% of the patients. Anaerobes and enterobacter are common in mixed infections. Anaerobes are more common after 6 years of age. For anaerobes, aspiration pneumonia is the most common followed by the lung abscess or subdiaphragmatic abscess and spreading infection from adjacent sites such as periodontal, retropharyngeal, peritonsillar and neck abscesses and tuberculosis is also common. The stages of impyma, exudative stage, fibrinopurinal stage and organizing stage. Exudative stage, the immediate response uh, without pouring of fluid Low cellular content, it is a simple para pneumonic effusion with normal pH and glucose levels of more than uh, so the pH of more than 7.3, glucose more than 60, pleural fluid glucose ratio of more than 0.5, LDH more than 1000, and gram stain and culture is negative for microorganism. Fibrinopurinal stage. Large number of polymorphs, leukocytes and fibrin accumulates. Fluid pH and glucose levels falls while LDH rises. Accumulation of the neutrophils and fibrin effusion becomes prurulent and viscous leading to development of impyema. There is a progressive tendency towards loculation, formation and limiting membranes. Plural fluid analysis, the plural fluid or the pH uh, pleural fluid or pH less than 7.10, glucose uh, less than 40, and LDH more than 1000. Gram stain and culture reports show microorganisms. The third stage is the organizing stage. The fibroblasts grow into the exudates and most visceral and parietal uh, surfaces. Development of inelastic membrane, the peel. The thickened pleural peel may prevent the entry of antimicrobial drugs in the pleural space and in some cases can lead to drug resistance. The most common is Staph aureus infection. The thickened pleural peel can restrict the lung development and it is commonly termed as trapped lung. Chest x-ray shows large pleural effusion and can be diagnosed in anterior-posterior view. The lateral decubitus view with affected side inferior facilitates the recognition of the smaller volumes of fluid. X-ray in different positions helps to recognize the extent of parenchymal infection and may reveal loculated fluids. This is a CT showing impyema. Ultrasonograms, very useful tool for diagnosis, guidance and thoracosynthesis or pleural catheter placement. Sonography can distinguish solid from liquid pleural abnormalities with 92% accuracy compared with 68% accuracy with chest x-ray when both are combined. Accuracy rises to 98%. Ultrasonogram shows a limiting membrane suggesting the presence of loculated collections even when they are invisible by CT scan. If effusion is free-flowing and greater than 1 cm from inside of the chest wall, Pleural fluid line on the lateral decubitus view, immediate diagnostic thoracosynthesis should be done. If loculated thoracosynthesis should be done under the ultrasound guidance, the site for thoracosynthesis 1 cm below the upper level of dullness. Two thirds of the cases of the anaerobic infection have a malodorous impyema, and the protein levels of specific gravity is rarely helpful in differentiating these stages of impyema. In some cases, with a frank pus, the organism can neither be seen on a gram stain nor on the culture. Such cases must raise the suspicion of chylus effusion. Cell fragments with sediments where a chylus effusion will remain opaque with centrifugation. Tuberculous impyma can be confirmed by stains for rapid acid-fast bacilli in the fewer than 25% of the cases 
but plural biopsy and culture can diagnose more than 90% of the cases and PCR may be needed. Goal of the treatment, control of infection, drainage of pus, expansion of lungs. Treatment could be non-operative which include antibiotic, thoracosynthesis, intercostal drainage, fibrinolysis. Operative treatment include VATS and thoracotomy. Empirical antibiotics include penicillin, cephalosporin, aminoglycoside. Suspected anaerobic infection include clindamycin. The parental therapy should be continued for 48 to 72 hours after abatement of fever and the oral therapy can be used to complete the course. Antibiotics should be continued until the patient is febrile, WBC count is normal. Sorry, patient is afebrile and WBC count is uh, normal. Radiograph shows considerable improvement. Duration of the therapy for hemophilus influenzae and streptococcus pneumoniae 10 to 14 days, staph aureus 3 to 4 weeks. So the indications of drainage including the frank pus, smear positive fluid, loculated fluid, pH less than 7.4, glucose less than 40 and LDH more than 1000. Repeated thoracosynthesis is rarely successful. Small board percutaneous uh, catheters can be used if the fluid is thin. CT or ultrasound guided drainage if empyema collection is small. Chest tube drainage is advised for the drainage of tuberculous empyema. Chest tube must be kept inside until the drainage is less than 30 to 50 mils or the cavity size is less than 50 mils. So the predicting factors uh, for the complicated paranumeric effusion is loculation, high WBC count and the surgical intervention should be considered early after the failure of first chest tube drainage in good surgical candidates with loculated empyema or plural fluid WBC count 6400 uh, 6, to minimize the mortality and morbidity. Thrombolytic therapy can be used uh, in multilocated empyema using streptokinase or urokinase and the transient increase in body temperature is noted in some cases. Surgical modalities including the VATS, it is quite effective in the lysis of adhesion and multilocated effusions and removal of fibrin fibrinous material from the pleural cavity. VATS is often not useful in organizing stage. Thoracoscopic de debridement and irrigation, it is quite useful in the cases of multilocated empyema, success rate of 69 to 89%. Decortication is helpful in organizing stage with thick pleural peel. Blongopleural fistula uh, require intercostal drainage and the closure can be done after two to three weeks and thoracoplasty and resectional surgery can be uh, also be done. Response depends on the size of the fistula, state of underlying lung and present substance of systemic illness and uh, rehabilitation. Scoring system for empyema thoracis, uh, so SSC of four that is a uh, severity scoring of more than four for intervention of fibrinopurant empyema is important. Early effective VATs may be adopted for not later than seven days after the failure of appropriate antibiotic therapy and adequate drainage of empyema to uh, decrease the length of the stay and minimize morbidity. Prognosis. So it depends on the pulmonary function and uh, may lead to some complications like a scoliosis, pleural thickening, mild restrictive defect, 